What appears here in the video is built on insights I have at the moment. However, I reserve the right to change my insights at any time, and if I do, I may delete or replace content on the channel. So take the video under limited warranty. In this video, we are going to look at a broad and open-minded view of the world, and we will discover what the first step we must take to initiate a complete redemption soon. So let's start. There are creatures that do not kill. Creatures like earth, stones, ornamental trees and sun, these are creatures that do not corrupt, and therefore nature does not corrupt them either. Nature does not destroy them. In terms of nature, which they will remain forever, there are whole forests that if no one corrupts them they will continue to be forever. No one even drinks them, they just continue to be. This means that nature shows us the wisdom of life, the wisdom of continued existence in the same body. And since everyone has to live, so I tried to see if there were any fruits I could give to predators, animals that are considered predators, and let them eat fruits so as not to live at each other's expense. So we have animals under the house that are considered predators, yes, we have cats. And I tried to see what fruit I could give these cats to eat. So at first I had no real knowledge so I tried to give them a boiled potato, and they ate a boiled potato. Then I tried to give them corn, and they ate the corn. Then I tried to let them eat avocado, I hatched the avocado, and I let them eat the contents, and they ate the avocado. This whole move has given me hope that we can take the cat family, like a lion for example, and let them eat fruits such as avocados. There is an avocado measuring 30 centimeters, it is the size of three fists, one avocado in the size of three fists. I mean we can find a way of life out of what nature gives us, and put together like a jigsaw puzzle, put together pieces of information, and understand through them what nature of life is, and how nature allows us to live right and in harmony with everyone. Live in harmony with all levels of life. After all, everyone deserves to live. So instead of letting a lion eat meat, he can eat avocados and fruits that have a neutral taste. Some fruits have a neutral taste like avocado. Avocado is neither sweet, nor salty, nor sour, nor bitter, and it nor spicy, its taste is simply neutral and it is still delicious. Even a potato we said earlier also has a neutral taste. So in short, they like a neutral taste and it's amazing. Now what about a carnivorous plant? So you we make a net for him, like a spider makes a net, make a cotton net and then butterflies and bees will not fall there. We'll then feed the carnivorous plant, legumes, this is something I should try to see if legumes are really suitable for a carnivorous plant, and if legumes, then what legumes are suitable for it. But at least I have a direction of thinking, to understand that we are the people, we can fulfill in the world wisdom of life, and eliminate the way of death from the world, make sure that no creature will die, that no creature will be at the expense of another creature. But there are probably people who will ask, why did reality do that? Why did she make a carnivorous plant? That in his nature to shut his mouth when something enters there. Why did he even make such a plant? Why did he make a lion able to survive on eating meat? Why did she do that there are animals that if not cared for, they become aggressive and they just survive at the expense of another creature? Eat leaves eat grass, stems, and exterminate other animal? Why did reality allow this at all? Animals that are like the disabled, animals that need to be taken care of and fed. I think nature wants to give us a sense of responsibility, and that it all depends on our choice whether to care for others, or not to care for them and see death and cruelty in front of our eyes. So nature gives us meaning knowing we can determine what will be a way in the world. Life in peace and harmony that human beings take care of the rest of all and feed them with peeled fruits. So once I know that this lion if I do not feed him he cannot peel fruit, if I do not feed the cow with peeled fruit she cannot peel fruit, so what do I understand? They depend on me and exclusively it will be death and cruelty in the world. So nature wants us to prove that we have knowledge of what the wisdom of life is and that we have a choice chosen to take care of everyone and be considerate. And this is what will give us meaning in life when we feel we have a lot of responsibility on our shoulders. This is knowledge that says we can change reality for the better and eliminate cruelty and death from their root, while fulfilling perfect life wisdom. So we need to act right. Once I peel a fruit, and let the cat eat a peeled fruit, I actually prove what I know, I know not to eat peels, because the peel is the body of the fruit. I put it in the ground and I know it will come back through the root to be a fruit again, because it will rain, and it will seep it into the root, and the root will yield the bark to be a fruit again. Our doing proves that we know how to live, and so we can be sure that we will not forget the doctrine of life. So why did nature make such creatures? So that we may have a way of remembering the way of life by doing. Because there are two ways before us, there is a way of death, a way that shows the ability to cause death in the world, and there is a way of life, a way that if we rise above the shallow vision, 
we find there is a possibility of choice to cause reality to evolve and evolve. A whole circle of life where everyone lives in harmony all the levels of life together. I mean there are beings that they depend on, if we do not peel fruit for them, they will try to survive on their own and they do not have too many powers, they will very simply corrupt other beings, just because they have no other way to survive on their own. They will corrupt grass, or corrupt leaves, or corrupt other animals, murder and all the death around it. So we have a lot of responsibility on our shoulders, and that's what gives us meaning in life, that we have a choice to choose well, and to know that we have an important and meaningful role in life. Luckily today we are at a stage where you can thrive on eating fruit, we have almost everything here, even importing fruits from other continents and you can even get coconut water in the big supermarkets, what more than delicious and saturating coconut water. So as soon as we start implementing, I let the animal here to eat avocado, to eat corn, I actually see the results. It gives strength, these fruits that I tell you, I eat fruit and do not swallow what we do not get fluid in the mouth. I swallow only the juice of the fruit, and it gives me strength. It's not that I'm thin and weak, not at all. I look full and even have a small belly, and it turns out we do not need more than fruit. Everything we need to consume is there, and once again when I say fruit, I mean fresh fruit without their skins and without their seeds. Corn is also considered a fruit, lettuce is also considered a fruit, we explained why it is considered a fruit. It has outer leaves and inner leaves like cabbage, its outer leaves are considered bark they fold outwards while the leaves that fold inwards are the contents of the fruit. So once we have peel and content, we have fruit. But parsley or coriander is not a fruit, because everything there is a stalk, stalk and leaves, so there is no content in peel. Therefore it is not considered a fruit, so we eat peeled fruit, lettuce and coconut water I drink in the meantime, and in the meantime I also eat nuts. These things you will see later they just help me. Now I'm in this diet, so I'll share with you, I had a situation where I wanted to eat dough, bread, something, a kind of urge like that, an inevitable urge, go buy dough and buy something baked. And I thought I had no control over it I would just go and have nothing to do, I would buy bread and I would eat it. But at the last minute I said I have lettuce here, let's eat lettuce, and if I still want to, after that I will go out to buy bread. Well I ate the lettuce, and all the urge was gone, just melted, completely gone, it's just amazing. Lettuce. Or for example I once had an urge to eat bamba, and when I tell you an urge, I mean I feel bamba with all my senses, and I just had an urge to eat bamba I did not feel like anything other than bamba. But at the last minute I said, once again, I have corn here, let's try to eat corn, and if I still have the urge I will go out and buy bamba. I ate the corn, and quite simply all the urge was gone. The urge to eat bamba was completely gone, I felt satisfied up to heaven. So when I tell you this hole, it is a hole of fruits that help to cope, and it is a hole that provides you with all the needs of the body. For example coconut water they contain a certain salinity, it's written their sodium, which means that they contain salinity. Once I drink coconut water it significantly reduces the amounts of salt I need to add to my food. Because my body also requires salinity but the coconut water provides it. So coconut water has natural salinity in them while purchased salt and even coarse salt is not natural but is distilled. So coconut water is much better. And as soon as I tell you this whole thing, fresh fruit, coconut water, corn, lettuce and nuts, I tell you this whole thing because I found that it helps me, even though nuts make feces, so whenever I do stop eating nuts, but I initially eat also nuts, and when I talk about nuts I am talking about pecans. Now I'm just at the beginning of my journey so I also eat nuts even though they do not become liquid in the mouth, but I still have an aspiration also nuts not to eat, because nuts they make feces as mentioned. But the rest of the things I mentioned here earlier don't make feces, I had a period where I was able to eat 8 days only fruit, and I did not have feces 8 days, because I eat only their juice, I chew chew chew, and whatever we do not get liquids I excrete it out. I mean I only put fluids into the body, so what comes out is urine, and no feces comes out and it's fun, great fun that we can live without fussing. I think soon in the future, instead of being chefs dealing in cooked food and corrupt food, who have corrupted it by murder or by heating, I think there will be a state of culinary in sowing. People will get to all kinds of new textures by combining seeds, sowing suitable seeds next to each other. Not in assembling a branch within a tree, not in such a thing, but in sowing, sowing certain combinations and getting a new flavor, getting new textures. And I would not be surprised if there is even a texture like bread, such a spongy texture, maybe if they combine seeds from spongy plants, maybe if they combine them, then such a texture will be obtained. So I have hope for a much better future, a much more interesting, much more considerate future, a life without death, without cruelty, without fear, 
without evil, at least we, we will not create death. Then you will ask how will there be a place for everyone. We will talk about this in another video, just a hint, I can tell you, that the earth is also alive, and everything that is alive is also supposed to multiply. The earth is supposed to expand. How will it expand? What? How did I come to these conclusions? We will talk about this in the following videos. That is, if we reach a life where we stop corrupting, we will reach a state that will be called complete redemption, because think about it, today we corrupt everything. Even for shooting with this camera, we use electricity, we use plastic and glass, and plastic and glass are the corruption of materials. Everything, everything has corrupted, we corrupt everything around us. We are corrupting the sea, the rivers, polluting them, waste, dirt, air pollution, deforestation, we are all corrupting. And because of this there is also a limit, that is, when it is, our nature is broken, the nature of life is broken, and in the end, even we are consumed by corruption. I mean we need to find a way without spoiling, and this way starts with nutrition. Once we know how to eat right, only fruit, without their skins and without their seeds. We will be at the beginning of a new generation, a generation of redemption. Therefore it is important that we will know, we can fulfill in the world the wisdom of life. So yes friends these are the new moves for me now. I have found that I can feed even carnivorous animals with certain fruits. I have found that I can eat fruits. Nature allows us to continue perfect life in the world at all levels of life and stop being at each other's expense. And for me this is a significant step on the path to complete redemption. So this is it, I hope the video helped you, and that you got inspired and hope for a better future. I was Yochai Rakhiani, and I will see you next time. Bye! In our temporary channel, we deal with all sorts of interesting areas. We will present here instructive natural phenomena. And we will talk here about a worldview that gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. If you are interested in this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of any new video that comes up. And see you next time. Translation, Google's translation. Narration, Google text to speech. Voice, WaveNet I. There is no copyright on this content, and any use may be made in whole or in part. I am the voice of WaveNet F.